Okay, so Dominic, question for you is, on the recycling end, with all these companies talking about being green, what is your company doing to maintain their status uh, going forward into the future? Well, we've been around for 19 years, and for 19 years we've been green. Um, we 5% of our business is new pallets, 95% of it is recycled. Anything that comes in, our main goal is to never get a dumpster out of here. So whether it's plastic, cardboard, um, leftover pieces of wood, all that stuff gets recycled and, and is put in the proper place. Now let's talk about trees. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about plastic pallets, wooden pallets. A lot of people kind of say, well, you're cutting down trees to make pallets. How do you address that? Uh, when, when, they t when they actually cut down the trees, the outer part of the tree is used for furniture and housing and, and uh, different stuff like that. The, the middle part, which is the lower grade stuff, is, there's not really a great market for it. The, great, the market would, uh, would be used to make pallets. So, you know, the, the inner part of the tree is used for pallets. The outer side, the outer part of the trees are used for, you know, uh, furniture and, and uh, high quality, uh, high, high quality wooden products. So basically, in essence, these trees would have been cut down anyway, and you're just using what's left not to waste. Exactly. All right, so, and then you mentioned to me once before that even ice pops come on a stick, and we're able to consume them, they have certain type of antibacterial in them or something? Exactly. I mean, it, Wood, wood is safe, you know, there, there's a lot of people that are saying wood is not safe, you know, you have popsicle sticks, you have corn dogs, you know, a lot of people eat a lot of stuff on a stick, right? my four year old eats, loves when the ice cream man comes, everything's on a stick. Shish kebab, yeah, it goes <laughs> on and on. <laughs>